for EAA Air Venture. We're getting ready to start the 2016 year. How's everything going so far? Well, we're getting down to the last few days, three days before opening mm -hmm. day, and I think I mentioned before, you know, 90% done, 90% to go, <laughs> it feels like, with a million little details. But isn't that how it always is? It always is, yeah. that's right. But it's getting exciting now. People are starting to come in. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the first airplanes. Right. Uh, some are staying behind the storms we saw today, mm -hmm. but we'll see them over the next three days and be ready to go on Monday. What would you say this year? What do you think is the biggest attraction, the biggest thing that people are talking about? Right now, probably the Martin Mars, the world's largest flying boat, mm -hmm. uh, has no landing gear. It'll land and park in Lake Winnebago for oh the entire goodness. week. It has the wingspan of a 747, mm -hmm. can pick up a ton of water a second, can drop water on four acres, and people will see that on four days during the air show. That, I can't imagine. I cannot imagine. I need to see that. Mm -hmm. So for people who have never been to AirVenture, mm -hmm. what would you tell them if they are planning their first trip down there? Well, first of all, wear comfortable shoes, bring your sunscreen. Yes, because yes, it's a there's long a lot of walking. Day. Yes. But try to take it all in. Get there about 7 o'clock or mm -hmm. so because then when the gates open, you can get in there, start in the Warbirds, work your way south through the home builds, the yeah. vintage airplanes, all the way down to the ultralights. And then in the afternoon, come on out to the air show. We start about 2 30, go for three, three and a half hours. And then there are evening programs as well. So be ready for a full day. Absolutely. Every single thing there. How would you say that things have changed? You know, when you guys first started doing this mm -hmm. to now, you guys are the experts now but how have things changed so much in this many years? Well, first of all, the diversity of the crowd. It's mm -hmm. getting larger, it's getting more broad where people are coming from. Mm -hmm. Also, the number of exhibitors. It used to be just home-built mm -hmm. aircraft and basic right. aircraft parts. Now, some of the big guns are in there, too. You talk about corporate jets are in there, some of the other ones. There are huge exhibits. And the size of the motorhomes used to be popped up tents and campers, <laughs> and now right. you're seeing the big motorhomes wheel in, too. And so it really has become a very massive event, takes mm -hmm. a lot of planning, yeah. and more than 5,000 volunteers to make it work. And, and people are staying the whole time, right? Most of them do, yeah. yeah. Uh, we have some that come for a day, mm -hmm. some come for three days. A lot of people stay for the whole week, though. What does this do for our economy? Not just in Oshkosh, but I mean, it really mm -hmm. does trickle down everywhere else. Yeah, UW Oshkosh did a study a few years back mm -hmm. on that. It brings $110 million into the state's economy each year, and 70% of our visitors come from outside Wisconsin, mm -hmm. so it's new money to our state. New money, everybody loves it. What is your favorite part? You've been doing this for a really long time. You see the ins and outs of everything. What's your favorite part? My favorite part's the people, mm -hmm. without a doubt. And our founder, Paul Poberesny, said it. You come for the airplanes, you come back for the people. Mm -hmm. Seeing friends I see once a year, it really is aviation's family reunion mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. And it's such a small world. When I, my first year down there, I met people from my hometown in Indiana just randomly walking. I stopped them for an interview and there they were. It's incredible. It truly is the people down there. It, it really is. You know, you think about the volunteers, the people, the exhibitors, mm -hmm. everybody who comes in, the people who bring their airplanes right. to make the event, the 10,000 airplanes that come to the area. The world literally comes to Oshkosh. It's incredible. All right, Dick, good luck this week. Thanks so much. There is so much taking place at EAA AirVenture 2016. For a full schedule and all the events, just visit our website, NBC26.com, and click on this story.